Hi, my name is Emma Katirai. I'm a system strategist. And in today's video, we're going to compare Dubsado and HoneyBook. I did this comparison about two years ago, and since then a lot has changed, so I decided to record a video to take you through what I found this time. So let's start with their pricing. The price for Dubsado is about $200 a year for the starter plan or $400 a year for the premier plan, which includes workflows and scheduling. If you want to pay for it on a monthly basis, it becomes $20 a month or $40 a month. Now, if you look at HoneyBook, the pricing is pretty similar. If you pay for it monthly, it's about $19 a month. If you pay for it for the essential, which is comparatively like the premier plan in Dipsado, it's $39 a month. So a dollar less a month. And then if you go to the yearly, it's $16 a month for the starter and $32 for the essential. So cheaper if you get the yearly plan. If you're a new HoneyBook user, you can sign up and get $50 off your first year. So you get it at $8 a month or $16 a month, and then you get 50% off your first three months if you sign up for a monthly plan. That being said, Dubsado also has sales about three times a year. I think they have one like in February, around summertime, and around Black Friday, which is coming up. So just something for you to consider, depending on which one you decide to sign up with. The next thing that I looked at were the integrations. So Dipsado, you can integrate your email and your calendar, although it's not in this section, it's in a different spot. And you can also integrate conferencing like Google Meet and Zoom, QuickBooks, Xero, and Zapier. In HoneyBook, you have a, a lot of the same integrations. So you have your email, your calendar, you have Zoom, you have QuickBooks, all of this is similar to Dipsado, you have Zapier, but then HoneyBook does have more integrations that you can do directly from the software. In Dubsado, you would have to use Zapier for a lot of these different things. They have a really cool thing, which is a Chrome extension for Gmail. So what it does is that you can answer your clients directly from Gmail, and the Chrome extension kind of brings functionality from HoneyBook directly into Gmail, which is really nice. It also integrates with Calendly, with Facebook and Instagram lead ads, Slack, Monday, and Messenger. So in terms of integrations, HoneyBook does have more direct integrations from its software. Now let's look at where each software wins. HoneyBook wins in terms of, they have this guided setup. When you sign up for an account, it's taking you down this path of, you know, do this, like a checklist of what things you need to do, to start bringing in new clients and start receiving payments. Dubsado does have webinars and a whole education portal and a lot of articles. But it's really nice to have this directly in your account so that you can go through it step by step and follow the instructions to start bringing in clients. The next spot where HoneyBook wins is Smart Files. So Smart Files are files in HoneyBook where you can combine different types of forms, so to speak. So you can combine scheduler, invoice, contracts, what in Dubsado is known as proposals, which here is services. You can add additional pages that have design elements in them. So let's say if you have a very lengthy proposal, you can split it up into different pages here with smart files. Now, both of these software have really nice design features so that you can bring in your branding directly into the forms, directly into your proposals so that they match your branding, your website. So it's all very seamless for your clients. The advantage that HoneyBook has on Dubsado is that you're not limited to proposal contract invoice. You can also add schedulers. You can break up your proposal into more pages if it's very lengthy. So in that sense, these smart files, are, which are a new feature in HoneyBook, are really, really cool. Also, HoneyBook has added a lot of different templates here for free that you can use that are very well designed. The templates that Dubsado provides right now are still on the old form builder. So they still have old design. They don't span the width of the page. They don't have like images in the background. They have not brought those features to the templates that they provide their new users. Another cool feature that HoneyBook has, it's not one that I would use uh, all that frequently, but it depends on what industry you're in, are batch emails. So you can send an email that you blast out to all of your clients in one go where you can announce like promotions or new offers and services. So it's a nice feature to have, but it's not something that I would personally be using all the time. 
The last feature that I really liked about HoneyBook was the ability to add multiple clients to a project and have the automation send the emails to all of those clients. So in Dubsano, you can add a second person onto a project, but if you're using workflows, automated workflows, that second person will not receive those emails. So that means that if you want to copy multiple people on something related to a project, you have to manually send out those emails. So now let's talk about Dubsado's wins. Dubsado's wins are, again, workflows. So even though HoneyBook has the ability to create automations, to create workflows, they still require manual intervention. So in Dubsado, if someone does not fill out a form, you can have the system send them reminders, multiple reminders. If after a certain period of time, they don't submit the form, you can reach out to them and say, "Looks, it looks like you didn't submit a proposal. I'm guessing you went in that different direction. If you feel, you know, if you change your mind, you want to work together, please reach out. In HoneyBook, if you wanted to do this, you would have to go into the system, check that they haven't submitted the proposal, and then give an approval for the workflow to send out that reminder email. And so even though I've seen people say, oh, you know, Yes, it requires manual intervention. It's only five to 10 minutes a day to check in on all your leads and your clients to make sure that things are flowing. It's still five to 10 minutes a day. And people are busy nowadays. I have two kids, I have a dog. I have to take my kids to extracurriculars. I have community projects that I'm working on. I have a lot going on. So five to 10 minutes a day adds up and it's more tasks for me to take care of and more mental load. So in that sense, Dubsado is a clear winner in allowing me to know that these tasks are being taken care of, that I don't have to intervene, and the system will follow up with my clients, with my leads as needed. Obviously, you can add steps into Dubsado workflows if you want to personalize emails, for instance, so that you can go in and do that. But if you do want things to be hands-off and automated, Dubsado is a clear winner. The other spot where Dubsado wins is in terms of locations. To use HoneyBook, you have to have a bank account in the U.S. or Canada for it to be able to integrate and send you your payments. Dubsado does not have that limitation because it uses payment processors like Stripe, Square, and PayPal. So as long as you're in a country that allows you to use one of these three payment processors, you can use Dubsado. So in that sense, Dubsado is a winner because it allows people from more geographies to use it. And finally, Dubsado is also a winner when it comes to payment processing fees. So Dubsado, the fees come from the payment processors, which on average, at least in Canada, is about 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction as we speak. When I look at HoneyBook, it's also a similar amount that they're charging, 2.9% plus 25 cents per transaction. But when you open this up and you go down, and you say card on file payments, which is something that you need to enable auto pay, they're charging you more. 3.4% plus 9 cents per transaction. So that's 0.5% more, which depending on the size of the transaction can add up. So if you're someone that requires auto pay, wants clients to sign up for auto pay to guarantee payment on time, you would be charged less because Stripe and Square, which are the, the payment processors that allow for auto pay, do not charge you more for enabling auto pay. You're still paying the 2.9% plus about 30 cents per transaction. So if this is important to you, Dubsado is a cheaper option when it comes to payment processing fees. And finally, another spot where Dubsado wins is its free trial. Dubsado allows you to have three clients on your free trial and there is no time limit. I've had this trial account that I use for videos for about two years, I think. And I just know that I can only add one more client. So I keep using the same test client over and over. So if you're someone who wants to set everything up, see if it works for you, try it out, and you don't want to be restricted to one week, which is HoneyBook's trial period, Dubsado is a clear winner. That being said, HoneyBook allows you to sign up for their starter plan for $1 a month for two months. Just know that if you go down that path, that 50% off that you saw in the pricing at the beginning of the video won't apply to you. So if you know you want to go ahead with HoneyBook, just sign up for the 50% off because you're going to get a better deal. So that's it. That's my comparison of Dubsado versus HoneyBook. 
So if you do decide to move forward with Dubsado, you can use my 30% off coupon in the description below. I also have a proposal template to help you get started quickly with Dubsado. Also, the link is in the description. And if you want to work with an expert to set up your Dubsado account and automate your client process, feel free to go to my website and book a free discovery call so we can chat. See you next time.